This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I do appreciate all my Scorpios out here. For my cross watches, this energy can be resonated. So just be a little aware that I am still doing five for five questions for Scorpio. The cash app is D-E-E-F-O-N-D-E-L. The email is there, Fondell at gmail.com. We do got some earth energy here. Somebody could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. We do got earth and ground. So we do got stability coming in. We got compassion coming in for Scorpio as well. Especially for those of you that don't have it going on right now. We got guests. So for a lot of my Scorpios that are wondering something, I'm getting a lot of different questions. I am doing quick email readings for 10. You can call me right now for 40 as well. The answer to that is yes. This is general, of course. So take what energy resonates and leave what doesn't. A lot of you have been waiting on a confirmation. You do have a guardian angel. I'm getting some feminine energy. This is a past loved one trying to communicate with you right now. We got to take a step back. They're wanting you to take a step back from someone and focus on yourself. You know, take what energy resonates and leave what doesn't. Of course, for a lot of my Scorpios, your vibrations are rising. So that could be why you're stepping into a different element in your life, a different crime, a different area that you didn't even see for yourself for a lot of my Scorpios. We have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? That could be one thing that is going to change for a lot of my Scorpios. It's setting these boundaries. It's kind of time. We have your divine goddess is being guided. So for a lot of my Scorpios, you are being guided spiritually to set these boundaries. Your spirit is telling you who and what and why. You know, for those of you, some of you could be homesick right now. We do got a Scorpio that's far away from home. This could be for work purposes or maybe you moved for a relationship. I'm getting a lot of different things. Maybe you just wanted to start over. I was getting some of you are being called on a journey. This could be spiritually for a lot of my Scorpios. It's time for you to come out your cave, you know, and kind of share your light. It's a lot that needs to be heard from you. Stop overthinking. A lot of you are overthinking right now. You're already doing it. A lot of you are wondering in, if you're in your prime, if you're making the right decisions, if you're going the right direction. You are. We got the stars. So yeah, this is a definitely an indication that something big is happening for you. You're definitely in route. We got high priestess energy. This is definitely Scorpio. I appreciate all my Scorpios out here. Thank you once again. Um, we got failure. So some of you did take an L recently. I don't know if you lost your job, lost your car, apartment, house. I'm getting a lot of different situations, business. But you got something better coming in. We got victory. So it looks like you needed to take this L to get to the finish line, to get to what was actually meant for you. Somebody can have a six-year-old for a lot of my Scorpios. I'm seeing you gain financially too as well. For those of you that are having some financial issues right now, you will be gaining a lot of financial stability. That could be that earth and ground we've seen coming in earlier. This could be a stable source of income to help you get to the next level. Somebody can have a nine-year-old. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is a big financial opportunity. Who's coming in for Scorpio? What's coming in for Scorpio? We got some Gemini energy here. Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini. We got speak your world into being. So for a lot of my Scorpios, this could be things going to the next level for you. We got some Pisces energy here. We got talk less, feel more. So for a lot of my Scorpios, this could be, you know, more just relaxing and not really going back and forth with someone no anymore. A lot of you had like a real hostile situation with somebody. I don't know if this was over infidelity, third party situation, over kids, whatever this was. This could be a Gemini. Maybe this is a friend for some of you. We got clear your mind. This could be letting go of this friend. This could be a Virgo for some of you. We got to attend to the details. This might be a relationship for some of you as well. We got some Capricorn energy here. We got lead a past behind. Some of you could be holding on to a past with a Capricorn. Maybe you had a traumatic experience with one. Maybe that's why you can't move on. We got some Aquarius energy here. We got reflect on your priority. Okay, so for a lot of my Scorpios, I think the message is the more just focus on you, what you need to do. If you got kids, your kids, your bills, your priorities, get a Scorpio to the next level. You know, we got wisdom. You will be gaining wisdom on the situation. That's clarity. Somebody could be 29. We got a pregnant Scorpio. Yeah, we got a pregnant Scorpio. Congratulations. Um... We got removing obstacles. Somebody could be 26. So for a lot of our Scorpios, it feels like there were a lot of obstacles in your way and why you couldn't move forward in a lot of situations. Those are being removed. Somebody could be 51, maybe 50. So we got joyous view of the future and prayer. So for a lot of my Scorpios, the power of prayer is exactly why your future is looking the way it's looking. And it's looking pretty good for you. We got the healing of earth, the power to give and receive healing. 
we got bright heart open connections so for a lot of my scorpios it's time to kind of open up open up the new connections open up the new surroundings and possibly a new location somebody can have 18 year old you can be 18 i do appreciate all my scorpios thank you so much